Well, taking a break uh, from what I've really been doing today, and that is playing a bunch of PlayStation 5, uh, because I'm getting a... I, do we call it a review at this point? I don't know. Like, I, I know I technically reviewed the Xbox Series X, but I'm not sure if we can call it a review. It's more like initial impressions. I have actually a lot of thoughts already, but I want to get more gameplay experience, play around with some of the features a bit more, uh, and then we'll talk openly and honestly about the PlayStation 5. Uh, and obviously, compare it to the contemporaries out there, like Xbox Series X and the Nintendo Switch. But this video, we're talking about Switch. So in the meanwhile, while I'm doing all that, I still have other content I want to get out. And uh, you see that bad boy back there? Yeah, the Switch. Uh, Redbox version. Well, there's probably going to be a new one. Oh, and hey, before I get into the rest of this video, I got to remind you to enter our $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card giveaway. I had to think about that for a moment. So we're giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. There's still a couple days left to enter. Uh, to enter, head down into the description or the pinned comment. And I wish all of you guys luck. And I think this has been a common trend I have seen today, actually, in my social media feed. And that is, after the Pokemon event today, where we got Pokemon Legends Arceus or whatever. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the exact pronunciation of it. I know it's a legendary Pokemon. I'm, anyways, uh, what's interesting is after Pokemon Legends was revealed as coming next year in 2022, early 2022 is their exact word. So definitely this game is planned to be in the first few months of the year. Uh, we'll see if it hits that target date. It could be delayed. It led me to a conclusion that I think is only fair. That is, well, the rumors are right. We are getting a Nintendo Switch Pro either this holiday or early 2022. And why? Why is that? Well, this holiday would just be, hey, it's a holiday period. It makes a lot of sense to release a new system then. Not because there's really going to be a game showcasing the Pro, although... You know, current games running in 60 FPS would be a selling point. It being a new system released around the holidays. I mean, let's just be honest. Right now, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are selling right now uh, with the promise of games, not with the reality of games. Yes, there's games technically on both platforms, but let's just be real. I would not say there's a system seller for either one. Um, just being honest here. I, even if you're like the most diehard Demon Souls fan of all time, it's not a new Demon Souls game. So... It would be like buying the Switch for Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> well, maybe it's a bad compare. Maybe the Wind Waker HD by Wii. Like, buying a Wii U for the Wind Waker HD specifically instead of, like, you know, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> um, anyways, so let's talk about this for a moment and, and why I think these rumors are actually becoming true. Uh, yeah, there's dev units supposedly out there. And according to my own internal sources, the dev units are real. The Nintendo Switch dev units exist for what they are even calling a pro model. It's probably not, you know, that's just like the name we're all using. Obviously, it's going to be like a new Nintendo Switch or, I mean, we'd love to see it called a Super Switch. Wouldn't that be sweet? Uh, but whatever Nintendo decides to call it, because Nintendo uses dumb naming conventions a lot of the time. But they seem to get away with it and it seems to work, except for when they did Wii U. That was just not good. Uh, Nintendo... It has an interesting prospect here lining up for 2022. So this year we know we're ending with Pokemon. Okay, we got the Pokemon, Diamond, Pearl, Remake, Remasters, whatever you want to call them coming at the end of this year. We know that's coming, right? That's so far like the one big end of year game we know is coming. But we know now that Splatoon 3 is coming next year and Pokemon Legends uh, Arceus is coming next year and highly likely Breath of the Wild 2 is coming in 2022 as well. Although... Hey, it's still possible. It can't be written off that Breath of the Wild 2 could be coming this year. And if Switch Pro is launching this holiday, launching alongside Breath of the Wild 2 would make a lot of sense. But here's the thing. Here's why I think these Switch Pro rumors are right. Let's take a factual look at uh, Splatoon 3. Here is Splatoon 3. So this game, from what we could tell in the gameplay segments, I'm sorry, that looks way the hell better than Splatoon 2. Like to a level of fidelity that we don't really see on Switch today. The level of polish that looks like, 
there might be a little extra power beefing up that Splatoon 3 demo or trailer or whatever you want to call it. Now, let's look at Pokemon Legends. Now look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is a graphic powerhouse. It is not. They did the thing. They did the Breath of the Wild thing. They, they gave you the pan shot. They actually did quite a few shots in the trailer uh, that were Breath of the Wild-esque. To say that the dev team is not um, inspired by Breath of the Wild in making this game would be an understatement. And I am going to talk at length about this game later. But what I want to note is... When you look factually at, at, at what this game, what's happening in this trailer, it's chugging. The game is chugging. It is struggling to run at a smooth frame rate. Now, that's okay. This is the first time we're seeing the game. It's not coming out for a year, maybe a year and a little bit longer. Possibly could get delayed to later in 2022 if they need even more dev time. And I agree, the visuals aren't necessarily the greatest looking visuals of all time. But whatever engine they're running on, whatever tweaks they have going on, the game is chugging. You know what would help a game that's chugging in development? Why, if they ran it on a Switch Pro, that's more powerful, of course. If you look at the Slate lineup that helped boost Wii sales, we're talking Splatoon, we're talking Mario Kart, we're talking Zelda, we're talking Mario. Now imagine things are lining up where you're talking open world Pokemon, open world Zelda, a sequel to the most popular open world Zelda ever. Oh, and by the way, just for shits and giggles, we got Splatoon 3 coming out and potentially a Mario Kart 9 or some other major Mario IP, you know, by the end of 2022. Think about that potential slate that not only tells you the Switch is far from dead. You do not give that kind of release slate when the system is dying, unless you're PlayStation, because that's just what they do in the final year. They give you like their best of the best in the final year and then make you rebuy it again when the next system lands. Little nice marketing spin for Sony on that. But what is so amazing about this is it does tell you that this is the perfect lineup to launch new hardware with. You're not leaving the old hardware behind. All these games will be playable on that Switch back there. The Switch you guys own right now, the lights, whatever. Hey, don't worry. It's going to get all these games. But would these games not be, with higher resolution and better frame rate, a nice sales pitch to buy that new Nintendo Switch, that Switch Pro? There is too much goodness lining up right now for 2022, end of 2021, through 2022 for Nintendo not to take advantage of it with new hardware. Now, that's the logical thing to do. Nintendo's not always logical, at least to us, but it almost seems intentional. Splatoon 3, Pokemon Legends, Breath of the Wild 2, probably Metroid Prime 4 at some point in here, Bayonetta 3. Guys, it's lining up masterfully for Nintendo to release a Switch Pro and get another Four years out of Nintendo Switch. At a time when Switch is peaking, this is a masterful plan. And one I believe Nintendo is fully going to follow through on. Now, again, this is just my speculation. I'm not sure what's happening. But uh, dev units exist. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And Nintendo is bringing a lot of fire before we even get the burning inferno that is the Switch Pro. So you guys let me know when Nintendo is going to unveil this thing. When are they going to release it? Uh, what game are they going to launch alongside it? Because typically new hardware, uh, even a revision, has some sort of game that launches alongside it. Like Xenoblade Chronicles did for the new 3DS. So tell me what's going to launch alongside this system. Uh, will it be a major third party game that maybe hey, it says, hey, we don't really want to be on the OG Switch. Not good enough. But this new Switch, yeah, we'll throw a game out there. I don't know. I keep hoping that for EA to do something, but uh, it's EA. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. Another great discussion piece for you today. Next on the docket is now, no, not the PlayStation 5 preview. I'm hoping, hoping I can get that done at, you know, at least in editing tonight so then I can get a video out to you tomorrow about that. But no, no, no. Next up, we haven't talked about Zelda yet today, so we, we, we get to make a video on Zelda. And then after that, we have some Pokemon talk. I've got a lot of videos lined up. This is 
I'm, I'm inspired. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Xbox. Thank you, video games. We came off a dull 2020, and it's just hot fire in 2021. Thank you, game industry. <laughs> You're really inspiring me, which I love. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.